Hello everybody, it's Miss Holly. Could you tell who I was even though I'm wearing a mask? I bet you could. So I wanted to make a video today to show you that wearing a mask can be fun and it can be cool. And I wanted to also tell you a little bit about why we're wearing masks. Um, some of you may have seen me before wearing a mask like this. When we go back to school, Miss Holly and Miss Marissa will be wearing masks and it's important that we do that to keep everyone safe. All right, so the first way that we're going to learn about COVID-19 or the coronavirus um, is we are going to get in our folders and make a book about it. So this is just a little book. You're going to fill out a couple of pages on your own um, or with the help of a grown-up, and then you're going to cut it and tape it together or glue it together just like a book, and you can learn about ways that this virus works and ways to stay safe from this virus. If you look inside your folder, uh, you will see in the front pocket that there is a little book that you can make about coronavirus. Or you can call it COVID-19. Yep, you could also call it COVID-19. Um, so what I'm gonna have my girls do first before we put our books together, um, there are a couple of parts of the book that you get to fill out um, and they have some crayons that they can fill it out with and I think you do too. So this is the first page, the cover of the book. This is the next page. And then on this page it says, have you heard about me? And so in our house we've heard about coronavirus, we've heard about COVID-19. So we'll put a little check mark for yes. Um, and then it says, how do you feel when you hear my name? Um, you could feel relaxed about it, confused, worried, I would be worried. sad, nervous, curious. I'm going to be nervous. If you get sick with the coronavirus. Yeah, so we could say we're feeling a little nervous about it. I'm going to be worried. Yeah. We could be, I'm going to put sad because I know that people are getting sick and it's yucky and it's no fun. Um, but then on the next page, it says, I can understand that you feel, and it says, draw it right here. So we just draw how we're feeling. So I'm feeling a little sad and nervous. So my eyes might look like this. My mouth might look like that. Um, but you can draw it however you feel. Um, <laughs> so after that part, we can go to the next set of pages. And we can learn more about it. There are no more parts over here that we have to fill out. It tells you a little bit more. Um, but then this page says, don't you worry, <clears throat> the adults who take care of you will keep you safe. And there's a line where you can write the names of the grown-ups that keep you safe. So I would put... Daddy. Yeah, I'd put um, Mr. Blake. Because he's my husband and he helps keep me safe. Mr. Blake. And my girls would probably write Mommy and Daddy. Um, you could write grandma, grandpa, <clears throat> aunts or uncles. Um, you could, you could Mom. write Miss Holly or Miss Marissa because we're working really hard to try to keep you safe too. Mom. But just whatever grown up you want to write, you can write it right there on that line. And then when that's done, you can cut the pages out and put the whole book together and read it. So that's what we're going to work on right now.
right, so now that we have colored on and cut our books out, I'm going to read you what all of the pages say. This is the one that Nora did. It says, hello, I am a virus, cousins with the flu and the common cold. My name is Coronavirus. I love to travel and to jump from hand to hand to say hi. High five! Have you heard about me? Yes or no? Nora said no. And how do you feel when you hear my name? There are lots of different ways to feel about it. Nora said that she felt nervous. I can understand you feel nervous. You have to draw your picture right there of how you feel. I would feel the same way. Sometimes adults get worried when they read the news or see me on TV. Hey, that's me. But I am going to explain myself so you can understand. When I come to visit, I bring difficulty breathing, fever, and cough. That doesn't sound like fun. But I don't stay with people for long and almost everyone gets better. Just like when you get a scrape on your knee and it heals. Bye bye. So don't you worry. The adults who take care of you will keep you safe. And Nora wrote, mom, <laughs> right there. So it says the adults that take care of you, mom, <laughs> will keep you safe. And I will keep her safe. <laughs> and you can help. Number one, by washing your hands with soap and water while singing a song. You can sing your favorite song, the happy birthday song, or the alphabet song when you're washing your hands. Or two, by using hand sanitizer and letting it dry on your hands. Without moving them, count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Once your hands are dry, you can get back to playing. And when we go back to school, we're going to have to do a lot of hand washing to make sure that everybody's staying safe. Mommy. If you do all that, I will not come to visit. While the doctors work to find a vaccine that will allow me to say hi without getting you sick. The end. You can download this story if you go to this website. You can share it with the people that you know. Maybe you have a neighbor or a friend or a cousin that would like to see a story like this to make them feel a little more comfortable about the coronavirus. Um, but now you're going to go to your school bucket and your school supplies and get out the little bag with the stuff to make your own mask. Does that sound fun? Yeah. All right, go get your foam pretend mask out <laughs> and get the stickers out and you can decorate it whatever way you want. And then if you feel like it, you can send me a picture of it. I would love to see how you look in your cool masks. Or you could put it on a lovey too. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Stay safe.